Hello guys, uh, this is uh, Claudio Freelance Motion Designer. I guess you are here because you have some problems with your keyframes in After Effects, so you cannot uh, move them or edit them or maybe cannot even select them. So there are some reasons for, for this. Uh, I will explain uh, now in details uh, the two main reasons which are kind of beginners level so you will probably be fixed with the first two reasons and then I will go in details uh, uh, with the third reason uh, which is more advanced because it's related to essential graphics and the, the essential graphics panel the essential essential properties so I will show you uh, yeah something that happened to me last week actually and I could not move the the, the keyframes anymore and I will show you what I've done to have this uh, fixed. So let's jump into After Effects and see everything. First scenario. So you have your timeline, you have your property and you have keyframes that you cannot really select, not even um, move or select, unblock anything. So what's up here? Well, thing is that these are not real keyframes. Those are just placeholders to let you know that if you uncollapse this group you will find your keyframes. So that's the thing, it's very easy. Second scenario. This one is a little bit more tricky because you can't really select, but you have your keyframes here, but you can't really select them. What's happened here? Well, it's happening that you have blocked maybe your layer here. So each layer can be blocked if you don't want to modify it by mistake or anything. So just unblock it and you will be able to do whatever you want again with your keyframes. Scenario number three, and this is a bit more advanced, I would say, yeah, in intermediary advanced. So if you have found the solution the first two, you can go and have fun with the After Effects uh, and see you tomorrow. Otherwise, if you want to know something more, if you want to learn something more, just stay here and I'm going to show you what's happening. What happened to me last week, actually, because I was using some uh, templates. After I developed some templates and I was testing them. And the thing is that I could not move the keyframes once I had modified the length of my layer. So you see that this is the layer with some essential properties. I had modified the length of the layer and once I did that I could not move anymore my keyframes. What happened if I zoom in, you see that the keyframes are not really on the correct position, but they are moved a little bit. So let's see the other one as well. You see they are kind of in the middle and you can't move them. And that's really depending on the fact that we are using essential properties and that we had time remapped the, the, the thing. So there are two solutions for that I found. The first one is, yeah, it's easy if you just want to unblock it for 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 one one uh, one moment. Uh, what you have to do is just uh, move to the previous of the following frame. You just add a new keyframe in that position, and you are fine. But then again, if you try to move it again, you see that it's not moving on the perfect frame, but it's still moving. Uh, uh, in the middle, so once you leave it, you cannot use it anymore. So, the solution, real solution I have found is the following. So, let's get me back to the situation where the layer has the full length. So, 30 seconds. I had put these two keyframes, and now full length, I can still move the, the keyframes. And so what I did is just to split the layer right after the last keyframe that I wanted to modify. And then, so select the layer, Control shift d now you have two layers. The first one with the intro here and the, the keyframes, but you want to keep the outro. So what on the, on the second part, you can move it like that and then move it back to the position like this one. So you have... No, not that's this one, but this one. So you have uh, the intro, you have uh, your keyframes here, and then you have the final position in there, in the outro. 
So I think this is a bug from After Effects. Huh? Uh, it's been there for some uh, times because I found references about this uh, behavior in the last two or three years uh, already on the internet. So I hope this um, solution can, can be useful for you. If you want to know more about me, just uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm publishing once a week, uh, more or less once a week, uh, tutorials on After Effects, uh, on um, data visualization in After Effects and Premiere Pro. Thank you and see you soon.